everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and a review in GPS. Boy, this was a this was a tough one today. Uh, I actually am retaking this a second time for the late play. Again, I rarely take late plays. It's like once in a blue moon that I do, but I really have like my feet on the ground today where I'm just insisting um, to have a day here. This gapped, but it had absolutely no volume in the morning, so there wasn't anything to do with it. It had zero volume, actually. So I didn't trade the first trade on this position, which is unusual for me, but I didn't rate the gap because there wasn't anything to do because it actually didn't even gap in the morning. It opened in a gap, but it had no volume. The volume came in here, and quite a lot, actually. So then it was val valid to do. But of course, because I wasn't watching it in the morning, I didn't get the first setup. The first setup was amazing, as usually the four setups are in a gap, but you have to be able to qualify the gap and see the gap in the pre-market, otherwise how would you get it? So anyways, here it is. Set up in here, dropped, fell. Fell to the first target and I did not do this trade, okay? But then it came up. I did watch it and I watched it for a while and I waited and I was very, very patient and I knew there were two areas in this that it needed to hold. It held the lower area, so I did the trade. And then I stayed with the trade, and I even tightened up on it. Whether I tightened up it or not, it wouldn't have mattered in the end, because then it went over both the initial area and the secondary uh, tighter area and the original area. Okay which I had it at 45. So either way, wherever you had it, 42, 43, 45, 41, it went over it. I kept watching it though. The next level held, and then it's set up on the 15 minute chart. So I'm back in it. I'm actually in this twice now. The potential for this is good, or I would not be in a trade this late on a Friday. The potential meaning that the stock could go to $40 today. So I feel like this is worth it. This is actually worth it to be in the trade and if it goes under work, I will make my money back from the loss on this first one here that I did. Let me just review it. So here is the setup. 31 by 50. It's a good entry. It's 20 cents. And I was watching it here and watching it here, and I just lowered my stop. I lowered my stop now to 33 and took more. My stop now is basically negligible. So what does that mean? It means that if this doesn't work, I'm not going to lose uh, what I originally risked. And if it does go on to work, I'll have a really, really good day here. So I'm being extraordinarily tight with it now because I don't want this to rally at all. Not on the 15 minute at all because of the large rally that it had in here all morning. Literally from the drop off it had into the open. It did nothing but rally. Okay. So this cannot rally any more than the 15 minute or it flat out is just done for the day. So I have to stop at 41.33 now. I just lowered it. This is, this is it. This is like the whole shebang for this sucker now. And the market is not going to help this go. The market is rallying. It's rallying and rallying and rallying and rallying. The market's strong, which I've been talking about for a long time. But this is one of those days where you have to have a gap in its own accord. Or it's not going to work. There's many days I do do gaps that work on their own accord. Even in this bullish market, I created my bearish system in a bullish market. But today was one of those days where actually you have to have real solid weakness in the stock to get it to drop today because the market is holding in a very unusual area in a, in a gap that wasn't great at the market, but it's holding in the sky because the market is showing extreme extraordinary, incredible strength today, which actually it's been, it's been showing and I've been saying that, I've been talking about it, but even I am a little surprised about how well the market is holding in the gap today. And I will do a, a video on that later after the close, but I am in this trade and have to focus. This has been a little wily in here. It finally, finally, finally broke the area. I wanted it to break in the morning, which was under 20. And if it stays under that, this will be super duper. Again, I have to watch this around 75, 70-ish, 70 60, 40, 50. But there is potential in this to go to $40 today. It should rock and roll under 41. I don't know when it hits under there. It is 12 o'clock noon right now. So it's obviously not going to hit that number by 12 o'clock. But this is underway. It's working. I am up in it now. And there should be no looking back. And it can't do anything, even remotely, like a rally on the 15 minute again the rest of the day here. In fact, let's look at the 30. Yeah, 
this, this, this looks really good. I mean, I knew this was good. I, at the first trade, I could have put the stop over 50. I knew there was an area, but... Really looked like it was going to break down right away. So the market was so strong. This is extremely weak, though. It's too bad that this didn't have volume in it in the pre-market for me to get the gap out of the gate. If I had gotten that first trade in this, I wouldn't have done anything else the rest of the day. And I usually get the first trade in everything as long as it's gapping, but I can't do something that doesn't have any volume in it or that's not even gapping. So this is GPS. I'm in the second trade here. We'll see where it goes. This has the potential here to make my day. And I'm going to try to hold the conviction and stay with it as long at the biggest number that I can. I got nothing to lose now. I tightened up the stop. I decided to do this a second time. It's 12 o'clock. It's Friday. I'm going to the weekend. This is it for me. So we'll see where it goes. And we'll do a video at the end of the day. Good luck, everyone, if you did this, if you're back in it. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. This is GPS. And this is a late trade. Very unusual for me to take a late trade, but it's valid. It's good. And this is absolutely weak today. Have a great day, everyone.